The first time I had sex. What the f What the f <laughs> <laughs> And it was like... <sighs> <laughs> oh. I'll just... Mm. Okay, good. Bring it on. <laughs> I remember I used to go to these marriage parties and all with my mum and I remember staring and looking at uh, dashing guys and I used to think that bade ho ke main aise dikhu aise dikhna chahunga or something like that so I think that was the starting point now I know that it was it was my fifth standard though I had a lot of you know girlfriends and you know I was surrounded by girls but uh, somehow I figured out that uh, I'm much more interested in two guys. People around me made me realize I was in my 11th class. So I was a bit feminine as well. So I started hearing this word gay around me in the corridor, in the classroom, in the washroom. So uh, I googled about it and it took me almost one year to realize that, yeah, I'm gay and I should accept it. There was a unisex gym next to my house and I was maybe 10, 9 years old. I used to look around there and I used to see hot girls, hot guys, but I usually used to attract it towards the hot guys who were working out in their tank tops and shorts and sweats. So then I realized I'm into men. Uh, I am confused uh, whether it was uh, when I saw uh, Milan Soman first or whether I saw Orlando Bloom first. No, they were into me. I was not. Like people starting touching me, I don't know why. I was like playing and they push me, they hug me, they just take me somewhere. I was like used to it in 6th, 7th about the guys, like I like guys. It's not a, uh, it's not a one point in time, it's like a lot of things happen when you realize uh, okay, I am looking at boys here, I am looking at boys in my classroom, I am looking at boys on the street and I am looking at boys uh, in my dreams. So, you know, maybe 20 years ago yes, was the time when I realized it. Fortunately or unfortunately, it was with a girl. I did not like it. I did not feel anything which maybe a straight guy would feel happy about or glad about. But that was my first kiss. Certainly, yeah, I remember. And uh, this guy, he used to like me and he used to say that I find you cute and all. And one day, uh, he just uh, kissed me and uh, he's still straight and I got married and have babies and I'm here shooting this video. <laughs> I can say that that was the best moment of my life. So me and him was lying on bed. Slowly we came close to each other. I closed my eyes and the next moment his lips was on mine. वो कहते हैं ना करंट दौड़ना आपके शरीर में तो कुछ वैसा ही करंट दौड़ा था मेरे शरीर में यस ऑब्वियसली सो इट वाज विद गर्ल शी किस्ड मी सो वी वर गोइंग समवे एंड शी केम एंड शी सडनली लाइक किस्ड मी आई वाज लाइक व्हाट द फक एंड इट वाज याक it was my cousin so yeah uh, he was there at my place uh, for a wedding and uh, we were alone at home cause everyone was out shopping and he was in my bedroom and we were just fooling around talking about girl he was talking about girls and kisses and everything and then all of a sudden he kissed so yes that was my first kiss when i was 12 in my third standard in uh, school it was wet slobbery it was nasty and but it was amazing I had really, really a very big thing for Sushmita Sen, and uh, when I was growing up, and she became a uh, Miss Universe, and she was really tall and beautiful, and uh, I was like, yeah, she's the she's the one. He had some, you know, beautiful lips. He used to smile really well. He used to write really well. So he was uh, one of the toppers in our uh, uh, like in our class. And uh, yeah, he was my first crush, and I hope if he's watching it right now, uh, he gets this message. Uh, the happiest question, uh, Hrithik Roshan. Kaho na pyar hai was there, and when you see him on the screen, I saw him. I was too young. That body, that eye, those eyes, uh, that smile. I was 
mesmerized. He was my first crush, but when he got married, I was so sad, I cried. Aww. My mom know that. And uh, Dan, you, Suzanne, but now he's single, so I'm happy. Tenth, uh, he was like school president, and he's damn cute. Uh, he, like he is damn cute. Like Milind Suman used to do this uh, show on uh, DD National. What was it called? It was called uh, Captain something. Captain Vium. Captain Vium. Yeah, and I used to love that show. I used to watch it alone in my room, and uh, imagine a crush who goes to space and <laughs> never is, is. You know that is not coming to you. <laughs> It's your decision. There is nothing wrong about that either. And uh, the more you feel ashamed about it or the more you f uh, are going to keep it to yourself and never accept it. So acceptance, I would say, would be the first uh, step you should take towards accepting your sexuality. Uh, just go with the flow. Don't think much about it. And that's exactly what I did when I, I, just, I was sure that, okay, I am into uh, men. Use condom always. Be safe. Um, Always use, uh, get tested every three months if you are very active uh, sexually. Don't do bareback, not a good thing. Uh, even if you, if even if someone is telling you he's on prep or pep, still use condom because there are still STIs and STDs. So that's gonna help you. Experiment more, and uh, you probably just realize that you are exploring your sexuality. Trust me, it's just a start. And sexuality, sexuality is very fluid. It's a spectrum. It's not just gay, it's not just heterosexual. Focus on your career, it's really important. Focus on your studies. And when the time will come, you will get your Prince Charming. So, with my boyfriend, it was fun. Like, it has always been fun. And it was like, <sighs> Jannat. Not Duse Wala, but Duse Wala Jannat. <laughs> It's around 12 years now, but still I still remember every single detail of it. Every single detail. It was December, it was winters, it was cozy. It was just me and him. So yeah, I still remember every single inch of it. So the first time I ever involved with something uh, sexual of that nature was with my neighbor. We were kind of watching porn together and the feelings, you know, kind of moved in and we did something of course not too much of sexual but we had a little bit of you know making out session for sure well i don't know what you call sex like it can be different than mine what? but i would say that uh, that kiss i was talking about like it was first experience when i was in 11th class i was like so uh, curious to see him without clothes and uh, that day he came at my place and we just have this conversation ki chal karte hain <laughs> and let me say it was first but it was best i'm still searching somewhere that person in every guy I meet. the first time i had sex was i was 19 years it was on the new year's eve didn't have the intercourse but we did everything else guess the other things and i did all of those he did all of those to me and uh, he told me uh, that he would love me, he would let me go and he wasn't letting me go home in the morning either. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't think that he meant stalking. So yeah, it was, it was good, it was, uh, it was uh, sleazy, it was uh, nasty but it was glorious. I was really happy because uh, before that, I was uh, uh, surfing on Facebook for people like me by, write, uh, by writing gay people in Delhi and this and that. When I saw this app, uh, I was really happy that there is a dedicated place for me. I can look pe for people like me and I was, yeah, I was really happy. It's it's a gay social app. It's very interactive. Uh, the live streaming and uh, different things in those. Uh, you're taking shower and just video call someone. It's, it's a good thing. So yeah, it's it's amazing. Which don't uh, with other apps really don't offer. So yeah, it's fun to use. 
the blood is amazing. I can show my talent. If I show something else, I'll get banned. And that's the great thing about blood. I love it because of this thing only. Like if you want to stream, you can broad, you can talk to people like different countries, you can show your talents, you can see others talent. It's not like grinder just swipe and just watch and message and hook up then that's all. But it's more than that. I have so many friends who uh, I haven't seen them yet, but we are still so connected just by talking and just sharing things. But Blue is amazing. I love it. <laughs>